so you're, you're sitting there and you just come back from your vision quest and you wake up and the floor starts shaking. Ooh. Two minutes, oh no, we need to go now. I feel the presence, quickly, let's get out of here. You know, so you run out of the apartment and into the streets of Blackwater, which is now filled with panicked civilians. You can see a pillar of smoke coming from the commercial district, and as you're wondering what might have happened, you see another bolt come from the sky. Uh, a bunch of turbo laser fire coming from orbit Hit, hits again, and this time it's blowing up part of the construction, hitting the, the street. They're trying to take out the city. So uh, I don't know how it happened, but you were followed. If, if you were followed, our first priority needs to be getting underwater and retrieving that artifact. If that Sith has found his way here, he's after the same thing we are, and he'll follow that dark side nexus to its source. Let's get moving. <clears throat> okay, so we got to go back. We're going to go back to that little shipping yard that we were at. Double time. Let's go. Okay. Since we know nobody's working there right now, so the, <laughs> definitely the yeah. submersible that she brought in. Should we be. can take that. We can jump in that. So is it is good it deal? Is uh, just so I could get uh, a look. When we're running out in the streets. Is it like normal uh, imperial mayhem? You know, they got the drop ships coming down. Stormtroopers are running in formation all over the place. And uh, so far, all you've seen is the lasers coming in. So uh, that stuff is probably on the way. Okay, so they haven't they haven't touched down yet. They're just nope. shooting from uh, the, the just rain coming from the, coming from rain orbit. fire. <laughs> <laughs> so. As this, the fire's coming in, and you run past the walkway that leads to the landing pad where the crate is parked, and another shot comes down from the sky, you know, boom, blows up right next to you, it's, uh, you're ringing in your ears, and you kind of get thrown backwards, so why don't everybody roll a coordination against three purple? Gee. I got a yellow and a green. I'll go first. I got a yellow and a green as well. <clears throat> I got three greens. Yellow and a green against no, wait, three purple. One. Two ah. green, even worse. Right. Okay, Ralphie. It's nothing. To a G like me. Uh, I got a yellow and a green. And... Oh! <laughs> this is carcass smoking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working with? Mm, Whatever right. it is. This, this, well, this, this is work. me. To Ralphie Green. Nope. <laughs> and here's DJ Nod. Oh boy. Come on, DJ Nine. Ah, oh boy. He and DJ Nine are going down. Well, that's just a something bad happened. Not I got a fail. I, got, I, I didn't get a fail. I got I a something. You got a disadvantage here. No, no big, no big deal here. You're not going to die from that. Every, everybody who didn't get a success falls down onto the dock you know, uh, as it shakes and kind of uploads itself. Star Trek. So it sounds it's like uh, just. <laughs> Some people are falling this way, some people are falling this way. <laughs> exactly. Tilt the camera. It's always good. But as you start to regain your composure, you look up and you see the support arm that's holding the docking platform creak, and then oh. it snaps. And as oh. you stand there watching in horror, the crate fang sinks into the sea. Girl, no! Man, I just got it washed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you remember sure, well, to leave the landing ramp up? Because... That's gonna cost a lot of money to get that. I don't know. <laughs> you know. I'm sure it was a fine vessel, but we may share its fate if we don't move. I don't know how that Sith ship slipped through the Mount Bad. That's really hard to say. I don't know how that Sith ship slipped through the Mon Calamari defense net, but they're only a temporary problem. The defense fleet can take care of them. Right now, we need to get underwater. It's not only safer than being up here, but you can bet they're hot on our tails. Your ship was only a distraction. All of our heavy. Weapons are in, in the ship, correct? Yes. So we lost that. We have <laughs> DJ Nine. We got DJ Nine, and I got a, I got a blaster. All right. Yeah. So that's all I need. And I stashed two thermal detonators yeah, inside of DJ Nine, <laughs> but there we lost go. our heavy blaster pistols. It's okay. You know what? Uh, if you if you flip a destiny point, DJ Nine probably grabbed them when he left the ship. Yes, he did. That's for everybody. Mm hmm. Yes, he's, oh, got, uh, he's yes. got four heavy blast pistols and two thermal detonators. Awesome. Good, Good thinking, DJ and I. <laughs> Good thinking, DJ and I. My trainer, Saber. He's the DJ, we're the rapper. I think we'll have to <laughs> say goodbye to the wooden Saber. To the wooden. Oh, crap. Well, you still you have the uh, the actual Saber that you picked up, too. Yeah, well, that's on my so. belt. Right. So continuing, yeah, you have to leave back the one that was at the ship, right? All right. So continuing, uh, continuing your mad dash through the settlement, you guys arrive at the submersible. 
Uh, so, you know, quick, let's get in. We don't have much time. Yeah, let's jam. Right. Which, which one are we... Uh, are we it's it's basically the ship she returned. So you, there's okay. room for everybody. Even DJ9 can squeeze in there, no problem. Okay. And, uh, and as, you're, as you're getting in, she looks up at the sky, and there's several small vessels starting to come down from the orbit. Those will be our pursuers. Let's move. All right, we're just gonna have to. Who's flying? Am I? Am I? Am I flying? Yeah, or you are. You're piloting. I thought we got in her ship. <coughs> I'll pilot. All right. I'm good. So that way she can. Uh, she can. I can focus on trying to find the, the dark side nexus. I'll give you directions. You, you know, I'll steer. You, you pilot. Yeah, that's what's up. All right. She's getting we'll kind of shaken here because there's attacks coming from everywhere, people falling down, dark side stuff. We don't uh, it, It's panic mode for two minutes. <laughs> okay, so, all right. I, my, I'm cool as a damn winter breeze right now, so I'm just going to tell her, all right, Braille, while uh, she's doing her thing, let's, you know, you get this thing, let's, let's move. We all kind of have an idea <laughs> where we're at. Like... I'm assuming as time is going by, we're feeling less and less confident of what we saw. Uh, it hasn't been very long yet. You're talking about maybe a couple minutes as it's running minutes. through the town. Right, right. So, so it, but, it's yes. still fresh, but it's sure it's going to fade over time. Okay, so, all right. So if it's still fresh, then I'm remembering, all right, man, let's go go down. I mean, listen. Hey, I'm, I'm taking her wherever she wants me to go, man. I'm going. But I'm just saying, we all kind of, we was all just there. We, we were all just there, so yeah. let's go. Well, you were all just there in the past, so it probably well, yeah, looks I'm a little saying, bit different I know, now. I know, I know the difference. I don't know about this guy, but <laughs> you did pull a blaster on me. <laughs> all right, but, well, once you're, once you're in the water, the, you know, the noise gods. and the confusion starts to fade because, you, you know, the attack is, you're not hearing it. Either it's mm -hmm. because the defense is caught up with the attackers or it's just the ocean, you know, making it so you can't hear yeah. But, uh, as you keep traveling and you know you're you're going as fast as you can, and two minute points at the scanner and say, "Okay, this should be the place. I can sense the presence of the dark side down here. The ruins are likely in one of those underwater caves down there." And, uh, as she says this, a dark shape passes your submersible. Uh, you feel the, the craft shake a little bit from the movement. She says, "Oh, that's uh, that's probably a whaleodon, friendly species. Although it's strange to see one down here like this." Come to think of it, I don't see much of any marine life down here. I suppose that could be... And as she says that, the uh, the dark shape smacks your craft with a heavy tail, and you see a giant oh. yellow eye go by the window. God damn it. Pinocchio! <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's not a friendly whale, well though. Hey, yeah, it's, 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 it's a They're, they're always life. friendly, but the dark side down here might be you know, clouding its mind. Oh, uh, Whaleodons uh, are, are fairly sentient. You can usually communicate with them, but uh, this one, oh, yeah. he seems like he's in a bad mood. You know what? I'm going to check see how much damage to this. Can I go uh, Aquaman on it and be like, you are okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. I'm checking for damage on the sub. What am I rolling against? Uh, for damage, this uh, this just be two. I thought it was just brushed up against yeah. you should You should be good. He wasn't trying to... to oh, I thought he like... Whacked us and we got water coming in and all that good stuff. No, there's, there's, no, there's no toss boot situation at the moment. <laughs> Not yet. So yeah, you can you can roll to try and uh, to reach it. And actually, I'll throw Tmenet in there too, and you guys can try together. Ooh, that's what's up. Uh, what, what am I rolling? Uh... Oh, let's see here. All right. So actually, well, why don't you roll your charm? That will probably be what we'll try to use ooh, on that. Yeah. Uh, nice she'll big she'll big use player. her force powers. Three versus two? Uh, yeah, and put in one white on that. Awesome. All right. What's up? Uh, cool, cool, and cool. So between the two of you, you managed to get a message through to it that you guys are not the enemy here. It's, uh, it's, it's seeing everything that it, it sees as you know evil, because the whole place is clouding it with evil. So temporarily, at least, you've managed to convince this whale that you are not part of the evil that it's, it's dealing with here. Dope. So... Uh, Good luck for now. As you steer through the rocks and you get past them into the caves, you can see the tunnels are starting to get smaller and smaller. Eventually, okay. they're too small for the sub. I just Shit. want to say, during this time, I'm over here looking at Rail. <laughs> What's up, man? You know, he's just doing, I mean, like, you're doing weird shit, Rail. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> Don't all, worry about it. All of a sudden. <laughs> sometimes I can feel things. 
I don't know. I ain't never seen no whale in my life. All of a sudden, you know, you know how to talk to him. <laughs> All right. Hey, and so, sea creatures are our friends, and I was just reading out. <clears> All right, so um, uh, she, uh, if we hadn't done it, she probably would yeah. Read read let's go All grab right. the let's go grab the rebreather. Yeah, this is far as we can go. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah no, I'll just put your rebreather on, and uh, so mm-hmm. what is there like a? It's like twenty four hours. Uh, yeah, you're, you're we got to get out. You're still still. They're a dock. Yeah. How do we? How do you get out of this without There's a hatch all... and then an hatch. <laughs> all right, hatch and a hatch. This is not my thing. <laughs> There's a hatch and a hatch. Indeed. A... Yeah, everybody, put on your rebreathers and let's head outside. <laughs> I don't know how to get. The, I don't. I know we don't open this door here. <laughs> <laughs> don't open that one. I know that. So which way? Yeah, you just drop it? out through the bottom. <laughs> Hold on. Let me pressurize the joint. <laughs> all right. We'll open it up. Let's go. All of us so, uh, are we all going to go out? Uh, I asked her. Moon pool. Should we all go out or? How I'm bringing DJ this? 9. <laughs> you can DJ bring DJ 9. He, he can handle the water. As long as you don't go to the floor of the ocean where you're not exactly, you know, you just, you're not that far down. So, after, uh, after you swim a little bit, you discover an opening into the larger chamber in the caves. This is sort of like, you know, if you remember before, in the previous life, it was a dome structure that collapsed, so the stuff's kind of all going to be in here and whatever. But uh, you did not bury the pieces in there anyway, so you'll have to figure that out. So, so as, as you we... guys go through, you're in the cave, it's just a, a big cavern, and, uh, and Temenek kind of jumps back as though she's been hit by some invisible force. So, wow, this must be the place. I can feel the dark raiding out of everywhere. Uh, if we can find that holocron and put it together, we may have a chance. I'm uh, uh, Pull yourself together. Come on, let's get in character.